y'all. Welcome to Scrapping with Sherry and happy almost Valentine's Day. I was in the store the other day and saw these little Hershey's Extra Creamy Hearts and I thought it would be fun to make a little holder to put those in for a ladies scrapbooking event I'm having next week. I thought it would be cuter to put them in something rather than just putting them out on the table. So I want to show you how to make these little holders. They're actually um, not very hard to make and I used a lot of scrap papers but I wanna show you from the beginning how you make it. So to make the holder itself, you need a six inch length of paper. And I'm lining this up on my six inch mark right there on the arm. I've got the arm out for the six inch. And we need to cut this at three inches. So we have a six by three inch piece of paper. And that means I can make lots of these out of this one piece of paper. So I've got this six by three inch piece of paper and I'm going to switch my blade. I've got the cutting blade in there right now, but I'm going with the scoring blade. And don't you love the way you store the blades on the back of your trimmer? I think that's the greatest thing Creative Memories did with this trimmer was make the storage on the back. So we've got the six by three, but we're gonna make some score marks to make it easier to fold these outside edges. So we're going to go to a one and a quarter, which is, if you'll notice on your trimmer, the dark lines are the inches. It's the next line past that one inch mark. That's the one and a quarter and score there. And then I'm going over two more lines to the one and three quarter inch mark and I'm scoring there. Now you'll not be able to see my score marks here, but I'm gonna flip this all the way around and do the same thing on the other side at one and a quarter. And there again at one and three quarters. Now when I've got that all scored, it makes it really easy to fold. And I used to think there wasn't really a reason for a scoring blade, but it does make your folds a lot nicer, a lot more crisp and it just makes your projects look, look a little more professional. So we've got this little book that kind of opens up right here. Now I'm going to switch back to my cutting blade. Now, if you were mass producing these, you would do lots of the cutting three by six, then lots of the scoring, and then go back and do this other step. But we want to make some little flap covers to go here just to decorate this up a little bit. And I had some excess Valentine paper and I am going to use this at one and one quarter. No, one and one eighth. Let's make this one and one eighth. So it'll be just a little bit smaller than our little flap. One and one eighth by two and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut two of those, two and three quarters. Let's test your um, measuring ability for sure. And then we're just going to put these on these front little flaps using our Creative Memories Tape Runner. So those were cut at one and one eighth by two and three quarters. And I picked a non-directional paper. It's a pattern and it's kind of busy but it's not really directional, so I don't have to worry if I'm getting this right side up or upside down, which is really good in my world. All right, so we've got our front little flaps and look how cute it already is. All right, our next step is going to be to make the decoration that goes on the front of that. And for that, I chose a pink background with a pale pink shimmer in the middle. So I'm going to use a scrap piece of this pink and cut it with the circle punch. I love the way this circle punch and this love letters punch work together. They are so cute together. And I'm using my pale pink shimmer with the love letters punch. Now when I slide this out, you notice the circle is still in here, but the little word love fell out on the bottom. And I am going to use that. Now I'm going to use these things with my repositionable adhesive. And the repositionable adhesive is just great. I use it with a silicone baking mat that I got off of Amazon. You can use it on the leftover pieces that your stickers are stuck to. You can use the repositionable adhesive just on cardboard and then throw it away. But on this mat, 
the repositionable adhesive doesn't stick to the mat. It doesn't stick to my project and it just makes it really quick and easy for me. All right, so there's my circle, which is gonna go on the very front when we complete our little box, but let's do the inside. So these little word, these little letters love, we're gonna put right here on this bottom corner inside. And I'm just gonna add the L. Again, I'm using the repositionable tape for this. O, we should make sure we spell it correctly, right? V and the E. And I'll try to get those straight. Okay, so our next step is to add our candies. So let's get a couple of candies. And I'm gonna use one pink and one silver in each one. And with these, you can adhere them a couple of different ways. You could use, whoa, that L is so crooked. You could use um, double-sided sticky tape, just the regular Scotch brand tape. I just tend to use my regular tape runner for this because it holds well enough and I don't really have to worry about them coming out. So I'm sticking a little bit right there, right on that edge. I went over my scoring just a touch. And then I'm gonna stick one right there. And the reason that I did that double scoring was to give me some cushion there for the height of the candy. So when we've got them both in there, we can just fold that up. We add a good bit of regular tape runner onto our circle, close the book and seal it up. Now, I think I'll probably look to see if I have any little heart um, bling that would go on there, something that would free free it up a little more. But that's a quick and easy way to make um, some Valentine candy holders. I hope you enjoy this idea and I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Until next time, happy scrapping. Thank you.